the two uh, effects of climate change that, that I think we can be absolutely certain about, beyond any question, uh, is that the temperature of the ocean is rising uh, and the acidity of the ocean is rising. Uh, and work that's been done here in Heron Island and, and elsewhere makes it absolutely clear as to what the effect of those two factors will be upon coral growth. Climate change poses a serious threat to coral reefs across the globe. Scientists from the University of Queensland are exploring the dual effects of both warming and acidification, the one-two punch of global warming. So the one-two punch thing is the fact that we've not only stressed these systems from a temperature point of view, we've also imposed a rapidly changing chemistry. And that chemistry is, well, I think it's fundamental to their biology, biology of most organisms. So what we're doing here on Heron Island is that we're trying to replicate little mini reefs and then see what climate change effects have been occurring. So we put them all together, create ourselves a little reef and um, then chuck some climate change at them and see what happens. How do you chuck some climate change at coral? First you raise the temperature of the water. It was in the 1980s that scientists first realised the effect of warming on corals. So I still remember in the early 80s when the first bleach samples coming out of the Caribbean and being sent to my professor and people going, we don't know why this has happened, but large amounts of coral have, have gone white. Uh, we're calling it bleaching. The knockout blow may come from carbon dioxide dissolving into the ocean. As we've added CO2 to the ocean, it's become slightly more acidic, but we've had a, a quite a, a serious drop in the amount of carbonate ions in solution. Now they're the ions that organisms make their skeletons with, their shells and so on. If you lose your coral reefs, you're going to lose a lot of fish stock, you're going to lose a lot of species, so that's going to obviously impact on humans and food resources. But, but at the end of the day, I am an optimist. I think we are this thrilling species that has pushed us right to the brink with these huge looming problems, but at the same time we're in a position where we have the capability to make the greatest changes. There are those who say that there's almost nothing that can be done, except, and my response to that is, that it'll be worse if we do nothing. Um, there's not an excuse for doing nothing saying you can't stem it. Uh, you can slow it down, that's for sure. Um, and it'd be really comfortable if we don't. Let's solve these problems, because we can. Some ways I wish we weren't quite on the knife edge, but again, I think we're going to survive and I think we'll solve this problem, but we have to wake up now and get on with the solutions.